Alrighty, folks, we're back. Uh, 54, working on that one right now. The plan, I don't know. I didn't really show it, but I was starting to weld up this downpipe. Um, doesn't fit in there very good. I don't know if it's because of this right now, or it's because the turbo's on, because it doesn't want to twist and go into place. I think for now, just the way I want to just get the car kind of going, I don't know if I'll do a full exhaust at this point. We'll see. I'm going to funnel that in there and I'll see what I have for pipe because that is three inch and I don't think I have a lot of three inch lying around to at least complete something. I'd rather wait till I got my hoist in the new shop and it'll be much more enjoyable to work on. But I think I'm going to work on that. Um, well, I've got to put the gas pedal in. Man, you know what? I'm all over the place here. Maybe we'll just do some rust repair. Yeah. I don't really want to do that either. <laughs> oh, cruddy. What do we do? Well, it needs to get done. Uh, it's not really that bad. I mean, it looks worse than it is, but it's not really that bad. Will it get worse the more we pick away? Nah, it's not terrible. All right. Let's just do this and get it done with. I'm not gonna do the inside. Well, the inside's not terrible either. Hmm. I guess we gotta struggle and just hopefully the seat comes out. That would be really nice. We can get this out. Then we can cut this away, make some quick patches. I don't have a bead roller, so that's a little bit of a problem with the rolls in the floor. We might have to get creative with that. Uh, do, 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 do. What else are we gonna do? Well, we'll start with that. We'll see where we get. Bill was out, he brought me a windshield. So we're gonna deal with that at some point. I am not looking forward to it because of all this chrome trim in there. But, I don't know, maybe it won't be so bad. Nah, it's gonna suck. All right, I guess we'll start with floors. That'll be mission number one. So, um, two sides. This one has a couple little patches back here, but this floor is not as bad it's bad but it's not as bad all right now let's see how the seat comes out and then uh, I guess we'll proceed by just cutting stuff out of the floor Well, that took way too long. I still got to vacuum it better yet. This is pretty crap. I just got to get all this flaky stuff off of here. Pull the seat out and I guess there's no... All everything that was in the headliner and the guts of the seat were all piled drived into that seat bottom. So I got to somehow get that all out. That is just... Everything that was in the car is in there. Golly. Terrible. So anyways, got to get that out. I guess I'll rip the headliner out while I'm here. It's not the uh, vacuum the roof here and stuff. Yeah, yuck. Anyways, we're gonna, we'll tear that out, clean up the floor here, get this gunk off of it. And then uh, I guess the next step, which I don't know if I'll do tonight. I'm not quite feeling it, getting pretty late, but the next step is going to be just to blindly just cut out all the rot and then we'll make some panels. Like you say, I don't have a bead roller. I'm waiting until I have a lathe to make my parts for one. So we might have to get creative and figure out a way to, to lay some beads into the floor here. Well, we spent a little time getting this cleaned out-ish. The upstairs, we got the headliner torn out. 
now I got the bottom stuff all uh, well I ripped that up a bit and whatnot so I guess uh, I'm just gonna go ripper with the zip cut here super quick I'll probably take this one body mount off and uh, we'll just I don't know I'm gonna blindly cut a little bit across here because it seems pretty good right here so we're gonna do some fictional something I guess I'll take the silk plate off as well looks like there's some not that there's much of a silk plate left here looks like we got some inner rocker stuff going on as well but I don't know if I'll do those as two piece or I'll do it as one piece maybe I'll clean some of this off and we'll actually just make this as one solid piece that way we can drill and kind of spot it in through there I don't know let's carve it up and see what we're working with here first Well, we made a very relatively simple pattern. I'm going to see once we trim if we got to add some metal here and there. This will just be a simple little patch that will just zap in. We're going to kind of go around here, around the seat mount, and way back here because we got some, just some strange rot. We'll be able to just trim this all out and just make an overlapping piece. After we'll drill and we'll be able to zap down into the middle here. I guess once we get this out, We'll see how bad it is on the inside if we got to do some of that work. Uh, like I said before, I'm just going to cut this mount out. Or I doubt that'll unbolt. But I'll try to take that one off. We're going to see how things are working once we start scraping and grinding things out. And if it's worse, we'll add on to our template. But so far, template's not bad. I kind of want to get it that it's all good. And then we're going to mimic some of these mounts, like these body lines somehow. I'll have to figure that out. I think we're just gonna hammer form them in there or something. That'll that'll work for what it what it is what we're doing. Anyways, uh, clean a bit of this stuff up. Let's grab the grinder, and uh, that's a pretty big piece yet. And then we'll start chooching away at this and see where we get.
Well, we got a little more rot than I thought once we started wire brushing, so we cut out a little patch there. Um, we're gonna have to do something a little bit on the inside here, so I'll just cut this lip. We'll kind of zap in a new overhang. I'll have to toy with this at a later time. Well, we'll have to just toy with this, fix this. There's a little bit of uh, a little bit of light here. You can see a little bit of holes, pinholes happening. So we're gonna wire brush, see how that comes. I don't really want to affect too much on the outside if I can avoid it, but this stuff needs to get addressed. Other than that, that patch I think is good. I think I showed that already, but well, now we gotta modify it, but I think I'm just gonna make a second patch. Like it's just gonna turn into a weird piece of, uh, well, not that it matters that it's a weird piece, but I wanna try to not uh, have this crazy sheet metal. I have small pieces, we'll put it, we'll make a smaller piece. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Ends up being such an odd piece and I can cut out. I got some smaller pieces we can just put into there. So we'll do that. I think this will still work overall. This still needs some trimming because we don't really have to go this high up here. Like this feels. I mean, wire brush, it's about all we can do. We can, uh, I don't even have any weld through primer. That'll have to be. I am going to overlap, but we're going to leave a little hair. Like I'm not uh, gonna do much. We'll probably leave a half inch all around that we can just just easily more to weld this together. We could butt weld it, but it's the floor. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna mark this all up again, and then we'll see. We'll do a mark, and I'll trim it up to the to the edge, just like I don't know, like I said, half an inch or something like that within this sheet. This I'm gonna cut back a little bit. Yeah, we'll cut that back a wee bit, come back. Oh, I didn't go far enough. Gotta go a little bit further, too. Alright, well, I guess first things first. I'll trim this up a wee bit more here, and then, uh... This'll work fine. This'll be fine. When there's carpet on it, you'll never know. <laughs> so I bent up two pieces. One... For this rot, we'll have to cut out. But I just made a simple little mount. It's gonna sit in there. So once we we cut and trim that a bit, that one's gonna go there. Then I noticed, I need my light on. Then I noticed there was this one. So I made another piece, but we just bent it two ways. And that one's gonna go up here and replace this one. So we'll kinda Tuck that in, zap it, weld it. Then we can do that one. Um, I think I'm gonna take my pattern first. I'll go to a sheet of steel. We'll just cut this one really quick. Uh, just get it pre-cut. And then we can kind of just blitz and do everything all in one shot. Kind of my thought. Not too concerned here. I'm just gonna lap it over. We'll give it a little spritz of paint and then just drop it on. Here we do want to stitch it. I do want to drill a couple holes quick so I can punch punch. Same thing along here because that's how it was. Even though it was a two piece. This rocker I guess came on and this went over. It's soon to be one piece. No big deal. Might take it and just do a little bit of a break. We'll figure this line out. We'll give that a little bend. Along with this line we'll do that one with a little schlank. And then we should be good. Alright. we got to put this back on. Mark it. Trim everything like I wanted to do and then uh, we'll bring this out to a piece of sheet metal and cut her up. Trace and cut.
Got Austin practicing floor welding on my car. This is a win. <laughs> um, this panel, we've just been manipulating the crap out of it. I just used some junky metal that I had in here. This is like some of the stuff that was burnt in the fire, but uh, it's a floor. I don't see a need to throw it away. It's still good enough. I'm just trying to figure out how to put some creases in the floor here that we can uh, uh, just bead roll a bit. There's enough dents and dings that it's probably strong enough, but just zap it. It'll be fine. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to figure this out right now. I'm thinking a piece of round bar or something like that is going to be the ideal way. Where the lines are is actually how the floor is. There's two uh, there's two beads that run on there with a ridge in the middle. So I don't know if I'm going to try to make a fork. Or I'll just hang it off the edge of the table and just bead a crease in it and eh, just be what it is. We want a little bit of meat in there. I don't know if I'll take some metal and clamp it to the bench and kind of make my shapes and then we'll just beat through the middle. Seems like a good idea. Here, let me set this up and I'll show you. Well, realizing I still have a hatred for GoPros, so microphone decided it is not recording anything. Anyways, you, what I'm doing right now is, uh, I just had my old English, my bead roller thing, my one failed template, and I realized the groove in the middle is pretty good, so I'm just violently beating along my little line with the uh, the flat side of my hammer, and uh, just basically working my way through here and putting in tons of arm pump, but it's not pretty, but it is making the line the way I want, so... I am just going to speed this process up because you kind of get an idea of what I'm doing here. And uh, we'll just give it a quick second here. As I just increasingly get more and more arm pump while I'm just trying to beat some lines into the floor. <laughs> Anyways, around here. I decide to, I just pull this out, the lines are pretty prominent, they're not bad, and all I'm doing now is you can see the, the, the floors are kind of bowed up, so I'm just kind of uh, beating around the edge of the lines, if that makes sense, just to uh, flatten the panel out, because I kind of stretched it all over the place here, but we're just going a, a relatively simple way of, I guess, making some beads. I mean, there's a way nicer way to do this, but... This worked for me for what it is. It's just a floor. Nobody's going to really see it. Well, you won't. Once there's carpet and stuff on it, this is gone. So we've added some strength to it. At some point, I'm going to turn around here, yeah, and I'm just actually going to tap the, the edge closer to my lines just to just to flatten the floor out so it's not all, all crooked. Right now, I'm just hitting in between the two lines. But, uh, yeah, I'll just show you basically what's happened here in a little bit. Well, that worked. It's definitely not pretty. But we do have some beads in the floor, some ribs. I could have spent more time or did something nicer, but in the end, I don't care. It's the floor. I kind of want, hoping these sort of match up so it'll just be easier to, to weld it all together. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to flap the edges and then I'm going to get Austin some practice. Uh, blitzing her in. <laughs> Just gotta find a grinder now.
right now, I have an unknown volunteer who's actually welding all my floors for me here. <laughs> Which is awesome. <laughs> I'm going to have him patch, uh, zap in that whole side. At least tack it all in. Then I can go over it later. He's just out till, till supper and then going to head home. But My patch is pretty rough. My bead rolls are pretty rough. Or my hammer hammer beads <laughs> but in the end it actually uh yeah, it's gonna work fine even with the crappy steel and all it'll be mint no problems anyway i'm gonna let them blitz along here and then uh i have to cut and i'll trim up some stuff because my panel when i put it in i put it in it got it went it went a little sideways so some stuff is off a bit but we were many tacks in so i decided to go with it all good Austin got most of this all welded in for me did a pretty nice job I got to trim some of this because like I said before I put this panel in a little crooked my beads aren't terrible <laughs> considering I just beat them on a hammer senseless so that's all right we'll just have to continue finishing up here he had one little blowout right there that's and there but that's I don't even know if that's his fault that seems to be like my metals uh, this metal must have been a little thinner than I thought Anyways, I'm going to trim this up, do a little trim in there. That way I can blitz this and this. We'll finish welding this part. He got his first practice in on there. Did a nice job. Just got to grind her up and it'd be nice. Nice and pretty. Anyways, I'm going to finish up all the welding on here. I'm going to, uh, I don't know. I'll keep welding, keep buzzing. It's Thursday. Usually all the guys go out, have a bite to eat, show up here, and then we do nothing all evening. <laughs> my pup and you hang around and wait for treats well I got this all welded in I was gonna stitch it in but I ended up just welding everything solid I think it didn't get quite well is into here not worried um, just gonna uh, what do you call it seam seal the whole thing yet but overall I mean it's not bad it's not perfect but it'll do! It's a floor! I guess these beads could have gone longer looking at the other side now. Anyways, this is taking a lot longer than I thought. I thought I'd be done by now. <laughs> Both sides, but we have a lot of welding and things to do. I would like to get this floor done tonight, but I don't know if that's going to happen tonight. Oh, it's actually a little better on this side. I think she's a little crunchy, but solid, if that makes sense. Crunchy, but good. A few little little zingers down there. Little one there, little one there. Got a couple thin spots here. There we go. There we go. Now it's not perfect anyway. We got a few little patches here. This one comes in through the top up here. Get my light out here a bit, maybe. So this one comes back here a bit. So we gotta go here, here. This is a pretty much a nice little square. We're not getting into this weirdness that I had to do on the other side. I'm thinking. Well, I think the goal tonight here, because I just, like I say, finished doing that one up, is uh, I will just get this cut out. We're gonna make that our win for tonight. Get this cut out. And then tomorrow we will template it. All right, probably should do that first. Yeah, I'm gonna do a rough cut, then I'll template. Nah, we'll template this first. We'll beer cat it first, then we'll cut it out, and that's what we're gonna call it a night.
Well, we got our patterns all made for this side. It's kind of a different patch, but bigger. So now I can proceed to cut this all out and wire brush it. That'll be the plan. Uh, well, cut it first, then I'll wire brush, see if it's worse. And then we can transfer this to some steel and uh, start welding her in. Right, buddy? Does that sound like a plan? <laughs> you hanging out? Hmm? Hanging out? You're pretty happy? <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we'll get started with this shortly. <clears throat> Austin's out. He's doing some work on his car. And it looked like I saw him struggling before, so we'll uh, see if he needs a hand. He's slowly reassembling his motor here. Are things not fitting? Not really. No? Pretty sure we tested that. Oh, I see. Spark plugs. We may have to remove said plugs. I know we put them in. Let me, let me give you a hand. Maybe we can squeak it past there. Cool. We just had to finesse it from underneath to get it over. So that's one side down. We may be switching these out yet. So for now, we're just going to temporarily put these other manifolds on. The weather's just super crappy out here that uh, I think next time we'll put some effort in, lift the car up. We'll get the mounts all done properly, get the starter on, distributor. Just see if we can dry fire this thing. That is kind of the plan for next round. We either have to modify for the fuel pump or we're gonna make a block off and when it comes time, we'll just put an electric pump on the car, which makes it easier. Anyways, I'm going back in now and gonna start cutting that floor out and build a, uh, cut a sheet and then we'll start welding it in. Maybe Austin will want to do some more floor practice before he starts on his car. <laughs>
Well, I traced a few times. I didn't mark it out properly. <laughs> so I cut on the wrong line. Oh well, not a problem. And I'm using this junky sheet again yet. I'm just using whatever steel I got. Um, the pieces weren't big enough, so I'm gonna have to make a smaller sliver to go down here, but we'll have to still clean this up a little more. Grind this up, clean it up. We'll have to add a little piece now and just do some trimming and things around here kind of the what we got to all do other than that it fits pretty good i don't even know if that thing is going to oil can but i guess i'm just gonna uh, do i like i don't think this is gonna oil can uh, i really don't want to don't want to uh I really don't want to beat those lines in like I did that side. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll run at least two lines in it just so I don't get this. I don't think it'll really do it. Like, who's going to stand on there when you're sitting in a car? But, hey, whatever. We'll draw two lines. We will beat a couple beads into there. I won't do it like the other side because we don't have anything. So I'm just going to do a single two two three single lines I think I'll do I don't know let's make something up just because it felt oil canny over here and we got a brace right here so that won't oil can so let's just give her one line there let's do one across there we'll end them over here we will end them up there yes two lines that's all we're gonna do <laughs> I think I'll do this one a little bit different. I have my bar from my old tire machine or something. I got my messed up plate with my groove down the middle. I got my lines pretty much lined up where I want here, I think. Sort of work. Yeah. Try the next one. See how she goes. Sort of a win. <laughs> Let's clamp it down and beat it flat. was considerably less hammering than before so I guess it's a win this is a nicer bead
I mean, it's not really a bead roll, but it is a anti-clunker. <laughs> like I said, over here, we got a brace there, so I'm not gonna worry about it. That definitely won't make any noise. Alrighty folks, we got floors patched in, they're not pretty because you can see where I boo booed there and my plate wasn't big enough so I had to put a small patch here but meh, you know in the end it's good. I got to pick up some seam sealer tomorrow so we can, uh, and paint, I got to get some of that dome or some kind of a, a paint just to paint this all up, we got to blow it all out, clean it up a little better. Get these last little nuggets of stuff out of here. We'll brush a coat of paint on everything. And uh, then we'll seam seal all of our edges. That is kind of the the plan. I'm pretty happy with it. Just wanted to get that out of the way and done. So at least it's done. Now we can go back to working on the motor and doing fun stuff. <laughs> I really don't enjoy doing that. Plus, I don't have the, quite the means to clean that up properly, so the best we could do is just wire brush it and grind it, and that, that's about it. So, eh, it's fine. It'll be fine. I think next round, like I say, we're going to get the... We'll work on the exhaust. We'll get that going. Uh, I think we can st steal some parts. Oh, I think my wiring's in, so we might do that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But there'll be more work commencing on here, anyways. Anyways, I think that is where I'm going to leave this one. I want to thank you all for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. Later.